In this video, I want to go over the Code Wars problem, get the middle character. And what it's going to do is it's going to pass us a string S, and we're going to have to return the middle character or characters. Now let's go over to the example real quick. Um, the word test will return ES, and the reason being is even length words, so test is of length 4, will return two characters. However, on the other hand, odd length words, testing is of length 7, will return 1, and that will be T. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do in this problem, obviously, is to get the length of the word, and this is so we can determine whether the length of our word is even or odd. So we're just going to say string L for string length is equal to S, or the length of our string S. From here, we need to determine if it's even or odd, and we can do this by first checking if it's even, by saying if the string L, or the length of our string, modulus 2 is equal to 0, and all the modulus operator does is it returns the remainder once the number in front of the modulus operator is divided into this number as many times as possible. So say this was uh, 25, it would divide into it 12 times, and it would return the remainder, which would be 1. If it is an even number, the remainder will always be 0, meaning that this number, or this number in question, is even. Since it is even, well, now how do we get the middle character of even length words? Well, the length of test is 4. What happens if we divide it by 2? Well, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Is that the index 0, 1, 2? Well, it seems to be 1 too far, so we can just divide the length of the word test by 2 and then subtract 1, and that should give us the, um, the first letter. So if I just say return um, our string s, and I'm going to use some list slicing, so I'm going to convert it into an integer because... Uh, it needs to be an integer. You cannot slice with floating point decimals. And sometimes on this site, it uh, when you divide, it doesn't do it properly. So we're just going to do int. Uh, we're going to say the string L divided by 2 minus 1. And that will give us the first one. Now, how do we get the second integer? Well, if we were just to leave it like this, with nothing on the right-hand side of the colon, that would go to the very end of the word. We need it to stop at the letter right in front of it. Well, if the length of our string test divided by 2 minus 1 will give us E, wouldn't the length of our string test divided by 2 give us S? Well, no, it wouldn't. And the reason being is because what goes on the right-hand side of this colon in list slicing is non-inclusive. This will be the upper bounds. The upper bounds is not is non-inclusive, meaning that it will go up to but not including the upper bounds that we specify. So say that this would be 10. You would think that this would go to from whatever this number is right here up until 10, but no, it wouldn't. It would go up until 9. So what we need to do is if E, or the next letter we want, is the length of our string L divided by 2, we would need to actually say it's 1 in front of that. So we would have to add one to it. So if we would do this, copy it, paste, instead of subtracting one, we would add one. And it's all just because of the non-inclusivity of list slicing, or of the upper bounds. Now we've gotten the middle character of even length strings. We do not need an else statement to say else if the string modulus 2 does not equal to 0, because if the string is not even, it has to be odd. It can either be even or odd, and if it is not even, we're just going to return s, and we're not going to use list slicing. We're going to just add uh, one single integer in here, since odd length characters only need to return 1. And how are we going to do this? The length of testing is 7. If we divide 7 by 2, that will give us 3.5. You cannot index a list or an array with floating point decimals. So we need to shave off that 0.5. We can convert the floating point decimal of 3.5 into an integer, and it'll turn that 3.5 into 3. And if we check 0, 1, 2, 3, that'll be perfect for odd length uh, words. So all we have to do is we're going to use the int method to convert it into an integer, the floating point 
decimal, we'll say string L uh, divided by 2. And this should work. So let's test it. 5 pass, let's attempt it. And all 45 pass. So that is get the middle character 7KYU on Code Wars. I hope that it was helpful. And if it was, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.